What do you do with 16? You will play a drum rap or sound pack. What does that sound like? I am going to load a sound pack. And these are sound packs which have been available. Uh, you can download them from the website. What people have been doing is that they upload, sometimes for sale, sometimes for free, sound packs. And the sound pack is actually a drum rack. Remember? Oh, see, you can't see anything. Duplicate mode. There, there's this instrument called the drum rack, where there's 16 <coughs> drum sounds you can load in. Well, besides loading in drum sounds, you can also load in different other kinds of sounds, like jam along with other people, basically you now have an instrument with you. Some of these are pretty weird sounding, I'll tell you that. different sound packs that you can download and basically what you have is a 16 instrument 16 sound instrument when you look at it you will realize that actually when you have a drum pack like this and you have these 16 you can actually then load in your own sound into these if you don't like the sound that they have sounds replace it with your own this is a 16 pad instrument okay so that's just the pad what about these things called knobs or faders what could I do with them I'm going to need a volunteer to give me a beat while I any of the, the laptop kids or can come here and give me a beat while I show this on this, what we've actually done, and how we're actually going to do it, is that I have different effects loaded up. And in order to assign them to this knob, what I do is I click on the MIDI, and I click on the knob that I want. For example, amount of amp, amount of amplifier. The moment I turn this, it recognizes, okay, that knob will now give me the amount of amplifier. And so when you look at these knobs, I've already assigned them to these 
the on-screen knobs have been assigned to the physical knobs. So when I start turning, you will see it moves, it moves, it moves. And what does it do? These are different effects. Okay. Okay. So we invite Brandon, the president. Give me a beat. Just give me a beat. I'm gonna do the effect. So the first effect is amplifier. So you can see that this is the knobs and the faders as well as the pads. So you all can come after the track. And with this, the knobs and the faders are with the pads and with the instrument. So this, you can actually play the melody along with when this thing going. which have 64. Then you must do memory game and remember which sound is on which one. Okay. Uh, now, if you use some proper planning, you, you get those where the drum sound is always in the same place. In Ableton Live 9.2, which you have, they are actually in the user library. You will find that in the user library, yeah, you will find uh, 64 pad drum racks which you can load up and you can start playing. Uh, if you can't remember, then you put a sticker now. Remember, <laughs> or you have a chart in front of you to remind you. But the other amazing thing that you can do with 64 pads is you can load up something like this. Okay, look at that. Each of this pad will correspond to the same clip on the screen. And in fact, when you look at the pads lit up, you will see that if there's an empty space on the screen, it will be empty space on the pad. Okay? 
Now later on you can come and see. And that means that we got all the sound. Man, that's a lot of stuff, huh? You don't want to run everything at the same time, so you probably want to switch off a few of them. And then you start launching them one by one. And you can play on top of it with the keyboard. So when you have the pad, basically whatever you press is going to come on and off. And there are different settings you can do for each of these loops as well. There's too many things here. I'm going to show you a blank screen so you can see it more easily. I'll just show you one more thing that you can do with pads. I'm going to drag different clips on. I'm going to drag a funky clip. And I'm going to drag a house beat. So you can do this for the next three hours. That then you know that's called this house. Uh, now you. If you notice, uh, you watch. When even though I may click it early, it will only ever change beat when the four beats bar has ended. Okay, so this is running. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's when I make it change every bar and you can see this word here one bar in the top left corner below the word help I can also change it to half a bar or I can change it to one quarter of a bar so you will change by changing it to that, I can actually do flip-flopping between them, right? And if I change it instead of one, I can change it to one eight. Then what do I get? So by making the, the separation even smaller and smaller and smaller, I can really play in between loops. So you can see that this is a way for you to actually play live in between loops. So when you look at something like that for the big set, you can do the same thing with a big set like this as well. And you can flip-flop between loops. So there are many other functions you can do to the clips. But for now, this is what we're going to do. And for now, I invite any of you to come, of course the seniors included, to come and play with this.